We're in the Tamiya booth here at the 2012 Shizuoka Hobby Show. And Brian, there's a lot of really cool stuff on display here, isn't there? There sure is. Lots of cool new scale kits. We can't cover everything. We're going to stay with the scale stuff. We've got new cars. You just saw the new uh, Subaru BRZ. We've got the, the kit of the, the BRZ and its cousin, the Toyota 86, behind us. We've got a brand new airplane kit, the Sturmovic. We've got a tank over there. Is that a tank, Brian? It is a tank, indeed. It's the Elephant. And then around the corner, we've got some new ship models as well. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover here, so I think we should get started. What do you want to do, Brian? Tanks. Okay, you get the tank. I'll take the airplane. The big news this year for ships at Tamiya in the big ships category is a 1 3 50th scale uh, kit of the Chikuma, the heavy cruiser Chikuma, which is a Tony, Tone, not Tony, sorry, a Tone class cruiser. Uh, and as you ship fans out there know, uh, Tamiya had released a Tone model in 1 3 50th uh, a while back, and now they've added some new parts. This is all the new parts here to make the heavy cruiser Chikuma. And you can make it the version, the seaplane tender version. You can see all the little seaplanes back there. Uh, clear parts and these are all the new sprue parts. It comes with these cool little uh, adhesive things to put on your nameplate. So 1350 Chikuma can be built as a full hull kit with the stand and a waterline kit like that. And Tommy even sells this cool water-like little thing that you can put it on there. Now panning down a little bit we have a model 700 scale of the US aircraft carrier Yorktown. Now this is not a new tooling, it's a, it's a previous tooling um, of this class of kit, but they have created newly uh, these aircraft here. And go menasa hoku no atarashi bubu wa dokoro datta ke? Kono hikoki to. Ah, ah so, so you get four sprues of this and the Yorktown nameplate. Um, but other than that, uh, it's the previous excellent tooling to make the Yorktown. And, 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 and open deck. Ah, and this little open deck here, right there. So this part. Only one. Only one. So this part here, this, and we have four sprues of aircraft. These all look like uh, wildcats. What oh, oh, oh. oh, so full I get. Yep. So that's it. This is a waterline model. Uh, now moving over a little bit more, uh, it's another previous release with some new parts. As you see here, this is the U.S. battleship New Jersey uh, BB-62, uh, with some newly tooled parts here for uh, some of the secondary battery guns, some of the radar stuff here, photo etch sets. Uh, this is, of course, builds into the the modern version of the New Jersey that saw action in uh, the Gulf War, was it, or 1982? This is, this builds it as it looks in 1982 there. Uh, so, got some cool parts there. So nice to see the big kit of the New Jersey back. So that's uh, the news for big ships from Tommy. Let's move around over here. We've got some more re-released kits here of uh, the Tamiya's cool Hetzer, um, some Jeep kits, the Kubelwagen here. Big figures and one sixteenth scale here, Wehrmacht officers. That's actually on sale right now. Some other figure kits here, some re-releases of these guys down here. Panzerkampfwagen 35T and uh, the, the, what is it, the LRDG command car, which is coming out in June. Now the big news in armor, as we see over here, is Tamiya's release of the Elephant. I think I said earlier that uh, when I was asked, is this a tank? I said, yes, well, it's not technically a tank. It's a self-propelled gun. Uh, of course, it's packing the deadly 88 millimeter tank killing gun there. Actually, I can pick this up and show it to you a little bit better. Now, they said that the, this is, of course, just a test shot, so the, the gun's a little loose. It'll be much sturdier than this. You do have a travel lock there if you wanted to put it in there. Uh, some of the cool features of this kit is it's got the very nicely done link and length tracks, uh, as you can see down here. Put it together, there's the links and there's the lengths. So you get a really nice and realistic sag, which is a, you know, a very distinctive feature of this tank and these kind of tracks. Uh, this is the, Fer this is not the Ferdinand, this is the Elephant, later version with a machine gun on there. The earlier Ferdinand version does not have a machine gun. I asked the guys at Tommy, are they going to do the, the Ferdinand version two? And they said, mm, maybe, if this sells, we might do that version two. Uh, so very nice. It's got some nylon rope there for the for the tow cables. Our excellent detail. The kit will include three figures. You see the little guy driving in there. Uh, this is the commander, I think, and this is the loader. And these are all half figures. They don't have lower bodies, but just put them in there. And you've got some action on your elephant. So that's very very cool. And we see some um, painted up ones over here. Now the kit doesn't come with the Zimmer coating on it, but uh, these finely finished ones do have some Zimmer on there. So this is a great addition to Tamiya's 
excellent selection of tanks. So some people have said, well, you know, why, why do an elephant? The Dragon elephant kits uh, are excellent. Why would Tamiya do one? Well, Tamiya doesn't make any money off of Dragon's elephants, and uh, this was, you know, a noticeable space uh, in the Tamiya's catalog of uh, tank kits, so they wanted an elephant too. Um, and as I said, what's going to set this apart from the other elephant kits are the great tracks, uh, ease of assembly, uh, without compromising any level of detail, uh, ease of uh, understanding the instructions. Tamiya has great instructions, so it's just going to be an easy to build kit that's going to offer a lot of detail uh, and it'll look great on your shelf. Now another kit that I'm going to grab over here and bring over here, it's made a lot of uh, 148 scale armor fans very happy, is the Matilda. This is the Mark III, Mark IV, the British infantry tank Mark IIA Matilda tank. So Tamiya is definitely still uh, investing in their 148 scale line. A lot of people said, oh, 148 scale's dead, no one's making 148. Well, Tamiya keeps pumping them out, and it's an excellent kit as well. It's got the link and length tracks that look really good in this scale. Um, it comes with the, the, the hull is plastic, and all the running gear and everything is, is plastic, of course, but it's got some metal inserts to give it the, uh, the heft of reality, the heft of quality, uh, and just, you know, excellent detail that we always expect from Tamiya. Nice figure, commander in there riding around. And it's got some nylon twine for, for the ropes, the tow cables there. And we've got some built-ups over here, painted in the, the typical interesting British North African camo there. Very, very nice. And this kit is scheduled to come out in July. I don't think I mentioned when the elephant is coming out. The elephant is also coming out in July. So these are two great new armor kits, uh, the Matilda in 148th and the elephant in 135th, uh, both coming out this July from Tamiya.